You get to you bring that knowledge. I'm a, to I'm the a, I'm table. a huge Fire Emblem nerd, so that's that's where that comes from. What is Fire Emblem? Is Fire it a game? Emblem is a video game. Gotcha, gotcha. If you ever played, but it, it's Japanese. Advance so. Wars. Yeah. Well, no, it's yeah. So it was relationships like 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 many quality games. It was released in Japan and Japanese only for like one, two, three, and four and five. Gotcha. And then there was an English adaptation of five or six, I believe, or seven. Um, and then they like re-released one in English back in the United States because why not? Um, and then why not? So, like the thing, I think the problem was it died out after the GameCube release. It wasn't very good in America at least, so they never really made a new one. But they put their characters into Smash Brothers. Gotcha. Melee. And so, oh yeah. So yeah, Marth I got, I knew that. is from Final Emblem One, and Ike? Ike is from Path of Radiance. And uh, Radiant Dawn. Roy is from Blazing Blade. That's the first English adaptation. That That's awesome. And so Martha's is really good melee characters. People play Martha a lot, and it's like this game looks pretty good. So it's like then they they like release Awakening, and it's just like released back in like 2011, I think, as like his last hope for the franchise. And then everybody loved it. So well, it now I know, back now I know where those characters come from. Yeah. Like we're still like, running triple sport. Yay. Yeah, that's so weird because we had a sound all of, of, of the last time. So Map one? Now. Dorado. Yeah. Very complicated. Woo! Jackpot! Can I get your autograph? <laughs> Woo! Now, now we're now we're in uh, voice voice <laughs> line mode. <laughs> we're just gonna be imit imitating Woo! voice lines Jackpot. the whole game. Embrace. Festivity. Oh, we need a we need a drawing challenge. A drawing challenge. Yeah, we I was can, just looking at that spray, and I feel like we should we should have a drawing challenge. All right. Regardless, call call is rolling out on the first point here of draw on defense. Triple healer composition. Arcade takes a shot to the face here. Kind of stand by Brigitte instead. On the high ground, the one I expect. We have opposing Hanzo. Oh, we'll oh, find. Oh, boy, another. catch off. Like, they're running a, a somber here as well. Which historically has been problematic for our team, especially because she's so, she's so strong right now. We are down Quick one rotating. hero here. Rena's going to take advantage of that and advance forward. Big grenade Thanks from them. Going down. We're trying to get out. Oof. Ouch. You crumple. Being able to, to recognize um, that you need to push forward after a pick is actually something that's not necessarily the easiest thing to do um at this at this rank it is it's instinctive um but especially at, at lower ranks that can be problematic for teams so always always fun to see that happen but overwatch is the kind of game where if you lose someone you're at a considerable disadvantage it's, it's harder to come back from that especially if the enemy team showcases that proper aggression here well, a quick pick from the Samra on to Mystic Monkey. <clears throat> yeah, we're doing our best to make it most of the best situation, but... That was probably one of the <laughs> most denied. brutal shutdowns yeah. of Maple that I have <laughs> witnessed. Anteed, stunned, no pile driver activation. Literally just couldn't move. Yeah. Cut it out. Yeah, cut it out. Did <laughs> three damage out, to my head. Gosh. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, a bit of a stagger happening here. Um, I think CC should probably go for a pretty hard reset. Not even put, not even put them near positions where they could get picked. But they are feeling the pressure to touch the payload here. EMP comes out, which will be slightly problematic for CC to, to stabilize on on the point. Okay, doing his best late damage down. Has dead eye. Reno will get the checkpoint here. This is a pretty quick take. Um, that middle stretch is actually the hardest part to capture. Yeah. Um, as Those an attacker, because be... there's a, a defending advantage there, especially. Long range Hanzo sniping, nice. I found Sombra on the back line here, she'll get out, translocate. <clears throat> Chaxu laying a pressure down, we have a rally from Brigitte. Shatter. I don't think I find anybody for opposing team. Nice. Pile down on payload from a maple here. Looks Call like CC might confident. be uh, leaning towards stabilization here. 
Slumber's gonna stay behind just to get that a little bit of extra EMP charge, because she did have to use it uh, during the second stretch. Looks like we should be sticking with this composition for now. Um, Ooh. Let's see what happens there. <laughs> That's some good That's close. <laughs> that was a headshot, might have found him. <laughs> Dragon's like almost available here for RKT, be a pretty good tool here to keep him off the cart. Graviton Surge finds the team, but Zanyala is here with Transcendence. Three picks of Colorado College force to use, I believe, two ults to negate that. Um, that was actually That's pretty good. A, a, yeah, that was, that was a pretty good fight for CC there. Um, two for two trade and ultimates at least there. Yeah. Actually, I think that was... Yeah, no, that was two. Was Graviton Dragon Strike from Reno, and we used Rally. We trans. used Rally, yeah. <clears throat> We're gonna go push up the, the their right-hand side here onto the high ground of the last point. Sonic Arrow makes things a little bit easier for Kylo Call. Let's see what they're up to. Dragon Strike comes out. Ooh, Maple <laughs> helps out pretty Ooh, good, actually. Rolling through them. When you come down a small hallway like that, yeah. it's, it's an opportunity. <laughs> Maple sees that as, a, as an opportunity. You're just uh, handing to him neatly on a plate. It's like cleaning up after the fight here. <laughs> <laughs> and to begin there. A little there. bit of frustration. You can see that in the wiggle of the crosshair. Looks like a quick regroup happening. <clears throat> call, call. So we're a little weak on the first two points here. I think they have found where they need to be on the last point, at least. It seems to be an interesting choice to be running the brig here. Um, I think just because of our, our tank choices. Right. You know, these are tanks that are going to be all over the fight, um, and it's harder to get advantage from a brig who can only heal in a radius around her or with her um, pack. Right. So it is an interesting choice. What would you see instead, rather? Um, maybe even just a second DPS. Right. Um, or possibly a third tank. Nice boop gets Monkey out of the way here. Arcati is freeing over this high ground. <clears throat> Call Call is capitalizing on the split. That's some pretty good picks, right yeah. now. Good or priority from Zen there. This is some good stabilization. We've shaved down a lot of time here. After those quick first takes. <clears throat> Just missed the jump a little bit, but happens to have the best of us. <laughs> I think possibly the reason they're running the brig as well is the fact that their other supports are a Lucio and a Zenyatta, who alone will be struggling to output the healing that this team will need. Oh, got her. That's a pretty good stun. And of course for her stun. The stun is, is a high it's a very useful oh, there's a lot here. If we'll get slept, we'll be able to pop shield, will we get out? out we'll get out. Get sealed. No problem. Just some good picks. It seems that Reno are really having a, a, having a problem getting through this. Trouble thing, getting yeah. through this section of the map. Some cheeky Zen orbs. <clears throat> yeah, Mr. Monkey with the armor behind the shield, which is nice from the rally a long time ago. It helps him a lot. With 300 health instead of 200 health. It's pretty big. I have seen, especially in the last match, after the EMP goes off, um, you could get some protection from having that armor on you still from Briggs Rally. Because you lose your shields, but the armor won't go away. Transcendence comes out from the from the Colorado College Tigers here. I'm not sure how much use was, um, was gained from that, but it definitely did keep um, Michaksu alive there. <clears throat> nice minefield on car also shut down a lot of movement here. It's likely we'll see another ultimate combo here soon. Tanzo's uh, dragon strike charges pretty quickly, so we'll probably see that come out as well. There's a sneaky backline dragon strike. the flank attempt there. We'll find Mabel actually. 
My dump dragon strike here on the cart. Yep, there it is. Just to deter that push there. <clears throat> um, some extra damage as, as people try to push forward. I think Kept alive yeah. through that nano boosted <laughs> monkey to get the sound barrier off, and that's a really good sound barrier because it's keeping him in Chaksu and Maple um, able to keep pressure on the front line. And a positioning slightly questionable. <laughs> wow. That was beautiful. Nice hold. Um, I I won't lie. After those first two points, yeah, I was like, like how's this grim. gonna I was like, go? Uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think see sometimes um you know momentum's a huge aspect of this game. So if you lose it, like there was there was one early pick um and Reno capitalized on that and then just sort of snowballed right through to the second point. But as soon as we got those picks in return, yeah. um it stabilized a little bit. Um, at that point, they had more trouble pushing into CC's um, high ground and low ground defense. Yep. Hmm. We're coming out of the gate with some Brigenji, it looks like. Yeah, this is a slightly more... It's like an offensive version where you just ran. Yeah, this is a more stereotypical version. Soft to Lucio instead of Zenyatta. Probably a pretty good choice. compositions we've seen. Um... Looks like we're trying to run like a counter a counter sombra like, a <laughs> yeah. little bit. Um, <laughs> the problem here might be um, on his vulnerability. Mm -hmm. um, when you do have three supports, it's easier to keep each other alive. But with two, it'll be a little bit more difficult. Um, but hopefully, Mystic Monkey will be able to contribute and uh, so will the tanks. What, what beautiful music from the bells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quality stuff. Real artist. So you're free to sneak around the back here, grab some intel, as we always expect. Holding on the high ground to start off. Pretty stereotypical. They're probably going to be ready to rotate back down below. <clears throat> They're going to be running that brig again, which could be problematic for a Genji. Oof. Cruising around through the first corner. Sounds like the guys are doing a good job uh, with their callouts, especially in regards to uh, <clears throat> hacks. Because hacks are really, really useful when uh, capitalized on. <laughs> Big wild diver from the huge, top of the sky huge here. Huge wild diver. Forces the engage and the callouts for Kala College. We don't force backwards to try, to try and uh, kill the Hammond, but they seem a little bit uh, disorganized. Gonna need some healing here. Nice. <clears throat> so we're trying to push through this choke right here. This nano boost should secure that push. Well, the minefield uh, the potentially. We There's the a minefield as well. Yeah, that minefield is gonna push everybody back pretty far. Unfortunately, uh, the result is that that anti nade wasn't quite as useful as it could have been. Woo! Our up blade. pretty big here. Some really, really key picks. Should be the first point Still potentially for Call of Call. Should be anybody's game has. They're coming Reinhardt back here in. though. Nana boost oh. comes out, bomb goes up. Ooh. Oh, we'll kill Reinhardt, but we'll finish off. Does enough damage to his shield, also. Yeah. Yeah. In a last ditch attempt, um, it seems like Reno are going to be able to hold this here. Yep. They used uh, Nana boost, shatter, uh, and rally to secure it, though, and the payload is pretty far backwards. Let's see how they do. Somber could try to sneak this, but I didn't pre challenge it. <laughs> Mana boost almost available as well. Maple looking to go in. Cruise up around. Pile drive. Looks like three people. Huge Big EMP AMP. is beautiful. <clears throat> Minefields com comes out. That might be slightly problematic. Got a lot of sound barriers too. Sunrise in both teams. Graviton from the opposing team as well. We do have a DMAC, which is going to be pretty useful for us. But it seems, yeah, that Zarya uh, laser went right on through the defense matrix. Blade comes out, gets one pick. Oh, Nano Blade comes out, gets one. Slightly unfortunate. <clears throat> you know, holding on by like thread CC here. might want to make a, some switches here. Um, just to try and push through this last bit of this first checkpoint. Got a minute left. 
Feels like I need more damage, maybe? Um, oh, yeah. it's... I'm not sure that's the core problem. I feel like uh, we need to pressure backline a little bit more. Ooh, it's going. It feels <laughs> like with this composition, I think what it is is that um, there aren't really any I ideal um, like CC or, or damaging ults on the team. Like the right, best yeah. is, is like minefield. There's no, you know, there's no hammer. There's no graviton. Um, and there's a there's there's a Zarya coming out now. <laughs> <laughs> so they make of it. It's yeah, Reinhardt Ryan too. Zarya. This might be better, but they're gonna have to charge these ults pretty quickly. Let's just get out there pretty fast too. Lucian make it easier. It's a bit of a, a late switch here. They should be able to touch card though. Yeah. <clears throat> Some early charge for our TP. Minefield <clears throat> goes in, gonna try and pressure this Ana here. Where's Ana? Oh, Two there we minefield go. kills, really, really close. That's pretty big. Ana is a, distracted as well. This high ground needs to be pressured though. Ana's been been hanging out up there for a while. This fight's looking much, much better. Um, yeah, this is <laughs> that switch was just in time. Yep. Fifty-two percent to graviton. It's pretty productive for one fight. With these ults, we should be able to take the second point fairly cleanly, I think. <laughs> Maple got picked, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the worst thing to come from that basically is the uh, enemy ult charge. You should be able to get back. Find the pick on the McCree. Huge nice anti. anti. Uh, Samir comes out to negate the effects of that anti, though. So. Not much use to pull the game from that. Huge shatter. Big shatter too. <laughs> Huge Here's shatter. what we want to see. Um, Charge on our connect. Mutoxi going in a bit deep, but it feels like he can do it with relatively uncontested. Graviton might actually come out once people are assembled, depending on how impactful this bomb is. Yeah, a little bit too forward. Um, forced there by that bomb though. It's gonna be hard to keep Mutoxi up. There we go. We got the nano boost to keep him alive. <clears throat> Another call from. And to be a shield going down, so you gotta get that. Sound barrier to keep that frontline pressure on from Toxu gets stunned right up. Oh, oh, oh man. shatter again! Oh my god! It's still rolling. Getting pushed all the way back to point C. Oh, call calls doing a great job of holding this momentum, keeping it going. Keeping the pressure up, you know. There's there's a lot of <laughs> chase, the, chase the hamster down. They don't get a touch of the car as well. You get a second point. Unfortunate nano boost at high noon, but uh, checkpoint is actually already gained here, so. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> People get some really good Team kills. Team Kill for Call of Culture. Of course, you gotta wait for this door to open, which is a little bit sad, but. In case you. Uh, uh, for your uh, information, we were laughing at it. <laughs> <laughs> Maple's <laughs> call that he was popping He's so hard. Popping up. <laughs> Hanging out on high ground. This is a this should be a relatively safe place. Looks like not quite able to block that shatter. Um, it's gonna it's gonna have to be a rigor for the for the tigers here after that uh, combination. We didn't quite get to see what happened with that shatter, but Michaksu was not not happy about it. Yeah. yeah, he seemed a bit upset that it wasn't blocked. Long-range fire strike sniping. All right, slowly moving in. We do have a minefield, so we should see some more uh, ham and picks here, hopefully. Uh, Doomfist Doom swap his rally and sound barrier. Use sound barrier um, at, to. Oh, the Earth Shatter for Covered Reno. the push in from Reno. Um, that was actually, I think, our rally that came out. Whew. Got some good picks, Maple's though. Maple just cruising on top of the high ground. in the back line. Uh, we need to get, keep three on point as, as long as possible. Um, this should be the cap, I believe. Hopefully they won't be able to contest. Yeah. Who's there? Uh -oh. EMP comes out, Not but enough. doesn't touch the point. <laughs> Victory for the Tigers. Whew. That was a... That last minute... That was a really Swap. interesting was... map, to be yeah. honest, because 
It was it was like exact opposites, you know. <laughs> Rita pushed easily through the first two points, but yeah. couldn't get through third. Um, and CC struggled on the first point, but was able to get through the second two. So. Whew. <laughs> it's actually bowling bold. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve minefield kills. <laughs> Twelve minefield kills. That was pretty good. That was really impressive, actually. Congratulations. Whew. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm correct um, about the ultimates being the problem for that first composition. Um, I, f I feel like... Well, we had Genji, which is good enough ultimate, yeah. but they also had Brig on the opponent yeah. to negate the Genji ultimate. So it's like yeah. a toss-up. I think Ryan Zarya is a better choice there, just to have normally, more of like a, yeah, a run, right, like a, more of a solid. Blade should be able to have a lot of impact there. Yeah. Um, but I, it... it it didn't. We didn't see as much of <laughs> that. We why. had a really good blade, but um, the second blade we saw, for example, I think got like one person with an anibus. And remember, that's two mm. ultimates invested yeah. in, in one kill, which is not ideal. Um, he must have been shut down in some way or another. Um, yeah. But the switch was worth it. Switch, I switch got there. Because <laughs> um, then you have, you know, especially with those shatters, like I feel yeah. like those shatters are a huge part of what, is, what got us through those... Um, mm. First and kind of second points. Yeah. <laughs> like, just um, find you know, a big pile jar, yeah. find a big shatter. Yeah. It's like, pile jar is pretty good on its own, but shatter is just in league of its own in terms of mm -hmm. being able to wipe the opposing team or do a lot of good stuff with yeah. it. Yeah. Credit to Machaksu there. <laughs> yeah. Great switch from him. Next up, King's Row. Should be seeing some. My favorite map. Yay! <laughs> For once, I get to say that. <laughs> Should be seeing some Widowmaker here, potentially. It'd be fun to watch. Ooh. Now entering. King's Let's see what the team runs. <clears throat> Not sure how good Ash will be in sixes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have seen some. Um... Pro players play Ash, and yeah. it's actually terrifying. It's, so she has a like... lot of potential <laughs> to be impactful. Um, it'll be interesting to see how people with like Good aim. lower lower mechanical skill maybe yeah. um, would do would work with her um, if she'll be used, you know, at lower elos especially. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be interesting to see, especially how the team works Ash into their compositions, because right. I feel like we have we do have some players who are who have really good aim so um i'm hoping to see her played yeah i think bob is a really interesting ultimate as well you feel like it's underwhelming or uh, i i think he's really strong actually yeah um because the way he works is he's basically a player entity so yeah. he can actually be mm. nano boosted cat points get nano boosted yeah push carts yeah you gotta put him in the right place I, think. Mm. It's kind of I mean, you're going to have to learn the hero. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 like, click it, he, like, runs to the wall, and he doesn't move. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think on, I think on, like, on open maps, Bob shines pretty mm. well. I think, I think he runs off cliffs, right? Yeah. I think you could, you know, summon Ash and have him just run to his death. <laughs> just a bit grim. All right. Sorry. Yeah. I'm not surprised we're running a Sombra here. Um, I, I, I do like to see it, yeah. Looks like we're running a Zarya. So I might look to hack right Hammond here. combo. Let's see, let's get picked off here. I will say I like the experimentation the team's showing here. I like them trying out these new compositions, um, because they do kind of have to work around, um, Maple's Hammond, because he can't play oh. <laughs> um, other tanks at the same level that he plays Hammond. So it's it's mm -hmm. nice to have him on Hammond when you can. Keeping her asleep, so just so you can't, she can't get that <laughs> that extra ult charge. Little tentative here. We're probably gonna rotate around right side of statue directly in. Nice bubble, so he can't be interrupted. I like the the synergy between uh, Zarya and him in there. Right. But the main the, the main issue again is that you're not gonna have a main tank. Already kind of pretty big squall picks. Uh, we'll be helping out the team helping here. Helping out the back line. Nice Sombra awareness. We curious to see how much of the percentage of damage Zarya is doing right now. She's been <laughs> big this entire time. This has been Ooh. some really good Zarya play. 
Oh, he's in the bad position. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, the the danger of pushing up to finish off the team after a fight ends mm -hmm. is that you are also in a more vulnerable position without the entirety of your team behind you, right. um, who are capping the objective. So, um, yeah, he he maybe pushed a little bit far forward, especially because that Sombra appeared and he wasn't probably expecting her to be there. Uh, but we did end, end up getting the staggers, so we should get a lot of free reign in this middle section of the map. <clears throat> and some pretty good sleeps here, to be honest. <laughs> that was nice. It gives a lot, of, like Ooh. a huge window of opportunity for RKT on Doomfist to just jump up there and, and do what he does best. Put the minefield behind Arena, we're gonna find ourselves a tight spot. We'll just send Reinhardt forward. Okay, but Reinhardt's in the back line. <laughs> Not typically where you find him, no. but it was a unique situation. EMP will probably come out from the Tiger to secure this third checkpoint. Um, Reno should... No yeah, Reno should be trying to contest the payload as, as much as possible, but the problem with that is that, like we saw, if like a Zen is doing it, he's just a Zen. He's a fragile butterfly. Here's a Meteor Strike coming in. Way in the back line. We'll find big damage onto Ana and Hanzo. Samurai comes out to sort of draw out the HP for the CC Tigers here, but it looks like they will be able to take the second checkpoint. He's a lot of ults to get a checkpoint, but we do have pretty good position to start with here. We do still have EMP, here. and EMP is one of the most powerful ults in the game, so... Um, also minefield. Yeah. yeah. Those two could potentially be comboed. Yes. <laughs> thank, why thank you! I'll take that charge. Ooh, big EMP. Huge EMP. Nice really, field. really good bubble onto uh, Trigger Fee to keep him alive after he took some damage during the EMP, and really, really good anti as well. A lot of the numbers of Reno force. are a little bit low here. Doomfist Sombra in the back, the back line, line, but he's been Sombra. hacked, and without his abilities, Doomfist is very vulnerable if he's caught out like that. He didn't really have any way to get out. Oh, she had no <laughs> HP behind that bubble! <laughs> To the point for Call of College, unless Lucia's they get here fast enough. Touch. That Dragon Strike is kind of a deterrent, but doesn't really get anybody. Pooping run up at the air. Honestly, just bullying me takes the season. Graviton. Oh, it might be a good punch. Able to get at least one pick off that Graviton. <laughs> some good damage as well. Um, but there, there was pretty clutch healing that went mm. in as well. Cheeky punch. Ooh. Sometimes when I see Doomfist play, I'm like, was he even aiming for that character? Like. <laughs> Or was he just wildly punching the, the group of enemies? Ooh. Uh, just a wild Reno back and forth says, oh, you're cart. playing Doomfist? <laughs> so can I. <laughs> Jack is still alive, still an insane amount of charge here. At this point, Reno's just trying desperately to keep this, <laughs> yeah. uh, this payload. Um, just shaving off seconds, as, as many as they can. Pretty, relatively uh, a quick map for pretty clean CC there. there. Getting to the end of uh, King's Row with three minutes is pretty solid. That's pretty good. <laughs> looks like we're running Sombra again, which I think is a pretty valid decision. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Let's yeah. see. Throwing Wrecking Ball in there plays. with the bubbles. Pretty Probably good. Probably gonna see some Lucio again. Potentially Zen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how the Zarya um, Hammond combo will fare um, on defense. Yeah, it was great on offense, much about here. Yeah, because on offense, you can, you know have that coordination and be like, oh, I'm going in now as Hammond, shield me, um, and that gives both charge for Zarya and protection for Hammond to do hit damage as well. So there's a good amount of damage that's happening there. Um, you know, we saw we saw Reno HP pools going down <laughs> pretty quickly. <laughs> um, but the problem on defense, though, is that uh, one, comps can be switched um, by the attackers more quickly. Um, and two... It's hard on defense to not have a huge 
Uh, at, le at least some sort of main tank to hide behind. Uh, because there there's going to be a lot of damage coming in. And you lose more if you get wiped. Max going in with that bubble. Huge anti. It's an early pick for on the back line though for uh, Reno here. We're down two, which is not ideal. Huge anti though. This could actually bring Ooh. them back from, nice on from the brink of losing this point. Gonna have to keep Maple alive on this point. He's basically the only one that can contest oh. it here. Um, with his huge HP pool, but it looks like people are coming back from those early picks. Um, and so CC should secure this point. That anti was actually that was, beautiful. That was pretty game changing. Yeah. Um, it was it was looking bad. <laughs> Honest trying doing her best to stay alive. Um, I've seen him to be working a lot on his auto play. It's really impressive the dedication <laughs> he has to that hero. Nice re-engage. Hop minefield. minefield comes Deep, out. Big damage potentially. <clears throat> Reno forks back into the hotel. Ana being contested on high ground by that uh, diva though. She's gonna force her down off of the high ground. Make a, make she a probably won't off. die quite yet, but um, she definitely does have to do her best to stay alive in this situation. Ooh, hammer down outside of uh, the point gonna be wiping through the more uh, vulnerable targets. We're down two. Um, it seems like Reno's gonna try and capitalize on that by popping Rally and giving them some extra HP just to make sure that they get that point. Um, and Diva's still hanging on the back line. <laughs> still there. Uh, I'm not sure why. I guess we got a little bit caught up in the aggression. I guess we can test this with Graviton. Um, and EMP probably will come out to negate as much sound barrier as possible um, and try and hold that point. It looks like CC's doing okay despite uh, those early oh. picks and the random diva that was still in the back line for some reason. Yeah, I think what happened is we got just a little bit uh, caught up in the aggression outside of the uh, the choke, and no one was there. No one was even close to be able to get that that diva. And to be back on high grounds, I mean. <clears throat> The thing is, when that diva goes after him, she's not in the fight. Oof, Ana is, does not get punched into the bush, a little bit deflected off of it. DPS both on Ana here, but, um... Yeah, there, she goes down. Maple gets huge mine. <laughs> yeah. Minefield kills again. Ryan's anti, but, um... Seems like CC's really doing well here. This is a this is a pretty impressive hold, despite, you know, so many times where I've been like, oh. That's it. <laughs> yeah. It's over. This point's gone. CC yeah. always seems to come back. They seem to always have something in their pocket. If you hold the info. Next fight should, fight should almost decide the match here. Big Earth Shatter from Shatter Reno. Shatter comes out. This could be problematic. Um, hard angles to heal there. That's really hard as Ana. This meter strike could come up huge. We'll see. We'll find anybody. And yeah, well, let's go back. It might get minefield off of this. We'll try and contest another pretty big anti. You know, being on the high ground allows for some good opportunities. Right. <clears throat> Coming back oh, from spawn. Gonna, gonna try and recontest here. Oh, it doesn't find it. That's close. Huge EMP. EMP. These have been some really fast EMPs, to be yeah. honest. You know, it's not a slow charging ult, but it's still pretty impressive. Um, and Gravitons as well. I think I think CC's ability to do damage and charge those ults really quickly and know not to use them all in a single fight is, is really impressive. Yeah, I was worried about um, there not being enough uh, just overall HP on the CC Tiger side right. on defense here. Um, but it seems like, you know, their <laughs> ultimate usage and their out. aggression has worked out. You know, there have been some pretty <laughs> impressive ga gameplay changing. Whew. Or, or game changing plays. So, a victory for Colorado College. Fast two for there. Yeah, that was a full hold and a really quick first uh, map take. Yeah. <laughs> That's really impressive. Alright, here's this. <clears throat> oh, 
And this is the punch where I was like, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay, so I'll just go take it. You know, I'll give it to, I, I don't play Doomfist, so I assume he knew what he was doing, or maybe he was just like throwing the punch out. It was like, hopefully it hits someone. Right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll just send it in there if it connects. It's Either way, good. it killed someone. I want to so. get in there anyway, so. We'll, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Might do it this way. Yeah. <laughs> That was a really fun. Uh, that was a fun uh, game to watch. Launch. Both of those maps were just like constant fighting. It was fighting, like back and forth. It was like who's gonna like, win? <laughs> just like people dying everywhere, ultimates everywhere. It's, yeah, like, I was sound barrier, constantly sound questioning what I was saying because I was like, oh, looks like this point. Like, wait, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wait, never mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at that ante. Look at that graviton. Yeah. <laughs> that changed the um, game. I think it was like, especially helpful in King's War Defense because Hammond was able to. You know, come back and recontest and get out and recontest and, and get out with his huge yeah. tool and his, his mobility. So, yeah, whew. that was that was fun. That was good fun. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Whew. Anything else? No chat, Bill, or we? Uh, any? Do you have? Do you <laughs> I, have any? I don't have anything else <laughs> on top of my uh, head comments? about that map because. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, a little bit speechless. I think that was really impressive, yeah, though. I, was... I think I think CC did a good job um, executing the slightly unusual comps that they they pulled out. Uh, we we doubt them at the start too on defense. Like this is this Ham and Zarya <laughs> worked pretty good, but I don't know about now. Yeah. About Peter Henry. We were talking about we we were doubting you with the Hammond Zarya yeah. pick on defense. I was like, okay, because well, it worked out really well on offense. We're like, oh, was defense, but then. They pulled it off again. It's like, okay, it worked I, out. I guess that works. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're, they're like, yeah, when, like, you know, Reno. You know, Anna, yeah, Anna had three they did. high ground. Diva, Diva, Diva was on her once. briefly. Yeah, but that briefly. was that was it. But she didn't die somehow, yeah. <laughs> which was odd. I yeah. feel like uh, Diva probably should have won that there. fight. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and to be used the nade on him, yeah. himself, and uh, he was forced to drop down the high ground, but you know. Maybe that was, a, that was a misplay on the Divas part. Uh, I, we I, we didn't I see all of it happen. So. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Hard to know. But and yeah, he Reno, did have a little bit of free reign, especially with those, na those not nanos, those, those anti-nades. Yeah, it's those like are, you throw them on high ground, it hits a lot of stuff. You Behind Rhine Shield, it's like, oh. One of the most satisfying yeah. things I've seen. <laughs> like, I, I love a good anti-nade. He got a pretty good one, in the, I think, on Zen Transcendence as well. I just pitched it, and I just hit three, and it's like, oh. <laughs> what is Transcendence? <laughs> oh. Ooh, sorry about that. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I think that is yeah. mostly it from us. Uh, we, we will see you next weekend. Tune in. No, we won't no, be we here. Won't. Never mind. We won't see you next weekend. Like, We're on saying? break. Sorry. Ah, I'll yeah, be gone. She'll be gone. We'll all be gone. We'll be gone. Uh, we hope to see you when Block 4 restarts we'll back. at sometime around November, after November 25th, I believe. Patience. Um, <laughs> we'll see you then. So for now, thanks for tuning in. It's been a great time. My name is Brian Absolutely. Leach. I'm Maggie McNeil. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.